okay just a couple of quick updates um, there she is in all her glory still got to put on her ears and I'm probably going to do that now um, I just finished sanding her but I tell you I got to do some more because I see just a little bit I did some filling in but I just I'm not happy with that I'm afraid that'll show up when I create the mold and I don't want I want it smooth like a baby's bottom but she's finally lined up symmetrically if you can see that I don't know I got this light here that does not help him but I needed to see what I'm doing and I thought I was finished but I was watching a video from Bat Chicks yesterday and lo and behold she had made this statement about novice sculptors like myself and she said they fail to make the eyes go deep enough and lo and behold um, I'll probably slip in a before pit uh, right here but lo and behold I sure did the eyes was meeting straight with the forehead flat nose was flatter so I have went at it again and instead of cutting my eyes because it took me forever uh, I left my eyes there and I cut above them and cut up in a upward motion so that I can have that indentation and I made it deep enough so that when I added more forehead that it would fill and the forehead would still be outside of the eye uh, brought the nose out and the bridge out a little more as well so I haven't named her yet I don't know why but I haven't but there she is I have to still do her ears and hopefully that'll look good and I've been working on the torso it looks a mess but lo and behold I actually was able to cut it off I cut it in half I cut here I cut here all the way around and I pried it open and I did this I think in the beginning of maybe Thursday I did this last Thursday and all the whole inside was still wet and I was trying to do it the old fashioned way of just letting it air dry but when I found that it was still wet I went ahead and I resealed it because I decided to take this out now before I do any real work on it so that if it had cracked all up I wouldn't feel bad thankfully it didn't crack all up so I'm gonna get started after I do the finish the head up and get started on the torso smoothing it out evening it up some more I did a little evening because if you can notice where it dips in this side is a little lower than this side and I brought this up a little bit but I'm gonna bring it up some more after I sand it um, I put it in the oven today just so I know the inside is dry and I wish you could see on the inside but you can see the cut right there oh, I would love to fill it but then then again it only has to get cut again and hopefully I can follow that exact same line to make it easier so anyway that's where I'm at I haven't really done anything with the limbs I have started on one leg but my focus has been on the head and on working on the torso and just trying to learn some more as I do it so anyway that's my update um, and I look a hot mess thus you won't see a face <laughs> but I didn't want to have to get all dressed up and fixed up just to show um, my progress. I wear my 
house clothes, my art clothes, because I don't mind this stuff getting dusty and dirty, which sanding is such a dirty job. But anyway, that's where I'm at. And I guess I'll show you more later. Oh, one other thing, and this is just a tidbit. Learn, trying to learn how not to use my hands has been a challenge. But I had ordered some more um, tools. And I am falling in love with this. Now, most sculptors, they have the wooden ones. So I got a plastic one. And I was like, well, it'll at least get me started. But I actually love this piece right here. And I've loved with the paper clay using this as far as smoothing it out. Because although they say don't worry about it because you're going to sand. I figured the smoother I can get it, the less sanding I can do. So, And this, I haven't really got a chance to use yet. But this was something I picked up. Anyway, that's it for today. Talk to you later.